No. She stared at the swinging door and wondered where Snake Arm Guy had gone so quickly. I mean, yes, I'm done. I'll take my tuna melt to go. We need to get started. Anna paid and boxed up her sandwich, but before she'd taken three steps outside the restaurant, an enormous gray poodle came barreling down the hallway and almost knocked her off her feet. She caught her balance but dropped the box, and her sandwich slid out onto the floor. Hammurabi! called a voice from down the hall. The poodle skidded to a stop and tipped its head at the voice. It bounded a few steps back towards Anna. Then in one giant bite, it snarfed up half her tuna melt and took off down the hallway. Oh, you must please accept my apologies. A boy rushed up to them, wringing his hands. He looked a little like Jose, but smaller and with darker eyes. He wore khaki pants and a long-sleeved polo shirt with sounds for a small planet embroidered on the chest. He looked off down the hall where the poodle had paused next to gate B-15 to chew. He has been caged up all day long, and we just got the permission to get him out. He is a bit... Energetic, offered Jose. Full of beans, said Anna, laughing. She wasn't upset over her sandwich. She was too busy thinking to be hungry anymore. No, I think he is full of your lunch, said the boy. Hamarabi, he called more sharply, and the dog trotted over, licking mayonnaise from his snout. Anna smiled. It's a figure of speech, full of beans, means Hammurabi likes to get into trouble. Oh, the boy's face lit up. That is a new one. He pulled a small sketch pad from his back pocket, took out a charcoal pencil, and began to draw as if he'd forgotten they were even there. Here is our Hammurabi full of beans, he said, finally holding up the pad. And I'll show you the picture. Full of beans, that's the poodle. And that, in case you were wondering, is an idiom. That's awesome, Henry put down his video game and nodded towards the sketch pad. You got other drawings in there? The boy smiled shyly and flipped through the pages. Let the cat out of the bag. Do you think I'm made of money? And I'm at the end of my rope. Here are the other pictures. Let the cat out of the bag. That's a cute one. Do you think I'm made of money? I bet you've heard that one a couple of times, kiddos. And then this one, I think, I'm at the end of my rope. That's probably how your parents are feeling right now. <laughs> Anna smiled at the last one. That's... That's what my mother says when she sends me to clean my room and I sit in my closet writing instead. It means she's losing her temper. She's getting angry. I know, said the boy. These I have already learned. This is for me the most challenging part of American English. I keep a list of these figures of speech, as you call them. He flipped the sketch pad closed. I like to draw what they say, but do not mean... Where are you from? Anna asked. Pakistan. My mother was born there, and my father is from Turkey. Both of my parents are with sounds for a small planet, the orchestra. Anna nodded. I saw your dog dancing at the museum reception. He's funny. It's neat that you get to travel with your folks. How old are you? Eight. Too young to be part of the orchestra myself, but my parents play tuba, and the orchestra was needing tubas. Hammurabi and I were... Uh, Part of the deal, as you say? He held out his hand. I'm Sinan. It is a pleasure to meet you. I'm Anna, and this is Jose and Henry. We met at the gate with the delay and all. Yes, it is quite a storm. Outside, the wind was picking up. Snow blew horizontally past the big windows. Sinan tucked his sketch pad back into his pocket and gave the poodle a pat on the head. What's your dog's name again? Henry asked. Hamburger? <laughs> Hammurabi, Sinan answered. He is named for an ancient king who united countries and built many things. Temples, canals. He gave his sneaker a shake so Hammurabi would stop drooling on it. Unfortunately, our Hammurabi would rather chew things apart. He's still pretty cool, Henry said, petting the dog. 
Thank you. I should get him back to my parents now. The orchestra members are hoping to play for a bit in the main concourse if they can get their instruments out of the baggage area. Just to pass the time. Perhaps you would like to come and listen? Sure, Jose said. I'd love to do that, Anna said. Let me go tell Dad. That'll be a great way to kill some time. They, hand, they headed towards the main concourse with Anna and Hammurabi in the lead. Henry finishing the other half of Anna's sandwich and Sinan scribbling furiously in his sketch pad the whole way. He was scribbling down. Killing time. That's a really good drawing. And I think that's the end of chapter five. See you tomorrow. Bye.